We all know that Gravistock produce really cool sci-fi inspired designs for speaker, earbuds and charger. You would have noticed a while ago I also reviewed a Gravistock Sirius uh, Pro P9 and the sound quality was really powerful indeed and this was actually designed for gaming as well so it's a very unique cool looking uh, design earbuds indeed. But what if I actually tell you that they also came up with a gaming mouse as well. I believe this is the first model and this is actually called the Mercury M1, which is a premium wireless gaming mouse for either a USB connected wireless or Bluetooth as well. So this comes with a resolution of 26,000 DPI and a maximum speed IPS of 650, maximum acceleration of 50G and USB report rate of 1K to 4K Hertz, which is for 2.4G. And the Bluetooth version is 5.1 and the input of 5V to 350MA and the battery capacity of 300 milliamp per hour, which is really good. The charging port is type C and etc. So uh, I'm really excited to find out how cool this is going to look. I've been told it's very light and it's actually made of um, magnesium alloy as well. So that would be really cool to find out. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Wow, look at that. That reminds me of this web of almost like that film Alien. Uh, the egg is about to hatch with all these special effects. I mean, that is really cool. Even the case follows through with that concept. And it's really light indeed. But um, before we get into this, we got the uh, USB uh, dongle. And even we got this web of a design that follows through. That's for USB and USB-C. To open up the actual cover, another sort of wrap. And if we take it out, <laughs> what is this? That is really cool. Remaining box is the cable, which is rather long, as you can tell, uh, which is the USB to USB-C. You got the typical left and right button here, and this is for the scrolling up and down. We got a bit of a dent here, which means that you'll have a better grip. This is the uh, DPI button. So apparently you can circle through the sensitivity level as well. These are just a mouse button one and two, which you can customize. And apparently here is where you're gonna get the ambient light. And we've got a really nice logo of uh, Gravistar here. In the bottom, we got the uh, button to the left, which is for the um, 2.4G of um, wireless control connection. And on the right is for Bluetooth. And in the center is where you turn off. Uh, this is actually for the uh, sensor. And here is a slot where you can actually put in uh, the USB dongle like that and you can see the uh, Gravistar logo here. But overall, I have to say, this is actually very rigid, magnesium alloy, and very light, and that's where you can charge, and really cool looking uh, mouse indeed. So if we were to turn it on with the um, 2.4G, you can see those rainbow color and it disappears, but if we were to go for the Bluetooth, it's blinking blue, letting you know that it's trying to connect with the Bluetooth. So that is really cool. It looks like an egg within this really cool web of Spider-Man or alien kind of effect. And I just love it. And it also shows how well capable they are with technology wise as well. They could have easily expand it, trying to hide um, that it's actually got a lot of things, but they're actually showing off that with this tiny scale, they could put in a lot of technology inside it. So if you were to um, wire connect it with your computer, you can see here that it's actually showing a green color as a reminder that it's connected with the wire connection. And I guess this will be the most 
accurate, most sharpest way uh, that you can use this mouse without worrying uh, the battery life. So you can see the immediate impact is working straight away on my computer with the cursor moving. Now let's try with the 2.4 uh, USB uh, connection. So I'm really excited to find out what sort of color effect we're gonna get. And let's turn it on. So we got this rainbow sort of um, color, hopefully it's gonna appear. Look at that. So that is the rainbow color. Uh, that is really cool. So I don't know how they managed to, but they're genius to come up with this different lighting effect. So if I were to, oh, okay. So if I move the actual mouse, let's actually check that again. So if I leave it the way how it is, this rainbow lighting effect will be constantly on. But if I were to move the, uh, the actual mouse, uh, the cursor is obviously working here. Very sharp indeed. Uh, but if I leave it, wow, look at that. It's like this really cool decorating purpose mouse that will go along with the really cool laptop indeed. So let's actually try the um, Bluetooth connection mode, shall we? Uh, blue light is blinking, searching for the Bluetooth connection. So we got the Gravistar M1, so click on that and it's connecting. Let's see if the color has changed. So again, I was hoping it to be a blue color, sort of letting you know, but I guess it's the rainbow color again. This is very sharp indeed and very good actually, uh, the response level itself. Right, so regards to DPI level, I initially didn't understand what it means by circling around. So what, what you can see here is that this is the lowest level, but if I press it, it gets better. Um, the color also indicates that something's going on with the mouse as well. But if I press it again, it's getting wider and wider and wider, I think that's probably the max, and that's the uh, least. So I think if we click on the actual um, mouse and see the color difference, so that's the next one, the bigger one, okay, and then purple, and the red is the lowest, okay? So the color itself is indicating what sort of DPI level it is again. So let's try that again blue, green, brighter green, blue, purple, and red as the lowest DPI. Now we're using the AutoCAD to see how good the scrolling option is. As you know, for me, uh, for AutoCAD, I need the zoom in and zoom out so I can actually move around very quickly. So that is really fast reaction indeed. And that also is very important. I can't use a mouse without these two function. And it's really assuring that this also works very well indeed for AutoCAD on a Bluetooth connection as well, which is 5.1. So this is a 4K receiver. With the 4K receiver, you can experience a four kilohertz polling rate. So a high polling rate means that the mouse sends and updates the information more frequently for smoother and more uh, responsive experience, okay? So you can actually simply connect the 4K receiver to your uh, computer and PC uh, by pressing left and the center. So a left and a center and the right button simultaneously, okay? So let's press that all together at once. And then you can see the blue light blinking, okay? Which means that the uh, 4K receiver is now connected to the mouse. So that's brilliant. Look at that. Another indication light of connection. And that's all confirmed. Okay, so let's um, play the PUBG, shall we? So um, you can see the scrolling. This is actually wire connected, by the way, is very sharp. So um, yeah, let's press the close. <laughs> That's really quick response. Unbelievable. I know it's a bit dizzy. I'm sorry about that. I just want to prove to you how good the quality of the scrolling and the mouse sensitivity as well is. So if we were to do a bit of a sprint, 
um, walk and then turn around and do some running as well jump and then if you want to check who's there on the left hand side top of the roof right hand side top of the roof as well um, it's almost too sharp um, but that's a very good thing isn't it um, run forward and um, I, I haven't actually played PUBG on a you know on the computer itself so I need to get used to the keyboard use but this is really good I mean it's one of the most important thing isn't it for aiming wise uh, very sharp respond again very quick indeed so well done for that so not only am i actually completely blown away with this magnificent design but also the functionality and the material as well so this led light that looks like a egg inside a web is indicating what sort of status it is so let's say if it was plugged in on wire it shows the green light showing that it's charging it looks really cool but if it's not on a wireless status either by bluetooth or the uh, 2.4 g it shows this a uh, rainbow effect as well while you're using it it goes to like completely dark but it comes back with the uh, temporarily uh, rainbow color to letting you know that it's a really cool mouse to have with a really nice laptop now i really much prefer the wired sort of charging capability than the battery replacement function because um, i think it's more environmentally friendly as well uh, but also this has a very good battery uh, life as well 300 milliamp hours so i really look forward to a long-term use but if it does run out quicker than i thought i could always uh, put in my wire connection and so on so it's not not a problem we've got so many USB-C cable if I don't happen to bring it I can use any cable and so on if you see what I mean but I've been using this mouse for about an hour now and immediately when I actually turn on my existing mouse which is the Logitech G604 uh, light speed mouse I instantly got bored with the design because this uh, Mercury M1 design is so cool looking as well now also the material side of it because the case is made of magnesium alloy I realized that it doesn't really gather any uh, fingerprints on it maybe on the left and right button but I still cannot see any marks on it so far while as my existing mouse of Logitech it's already showing well it's been showing for a very long time the uh, the fingerprints more as well so i really look forward to use this mouse for long term for gaming for my office use and so on uh, and i'm really grateful that gravistar actually gave me an opportunity to review this great product indeed so i hope this video explained to you how great this mouse is and well done with the design as well but if you have any uh, queries if you want to find out more about it please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJB Tech. all the best bye bye